So today's topic is how do you do the patch test at home? So when you book in for a step one treatment, it is assumed that you have done all your research. You are happy that we are the artists for you. You book in your step You've inquired about our services. You've got your information pack via email, uh, which is free, and you've decided we're the person for you. So anybody who books in a step one um, does not come for a consultation. Consultation is part and parcel of your step one treatment. Um, it allows for about 20 minutes of that. And uh, and that's why you allow two hours on uh, day one, step one, for your treatment with us. But the patch test is posted out to you at home because um, you haven't come separately for a consultation. And how do you do the patch test at home? So this is what we're going to cover today. So once you've made your booking, you furnish us with your postal address and we post out the consent form and that is four pages long. You can either bring that with you to your step one treatment or you can post it back to us. I usually advise people to post it back to us because invariably they get lost um, uh, at home and people forget it and they arrive and they go, oh my God, I forgot the consent form and so on. So that's the first thing. The other thing that what's also inside in that envelope is your patch test. And I'm going to show you that now. So attached to that uh, consent form um, is your patch test instructions, including, and this is usually sellotaped at the back, a orange wood stick to scrape your skin, a cotton bud with alcohol, which is inside here. I'll show you now how to do that. And this is your patch test and it's in a sealed bag. And the written instructions are fairly self-explanatory. There are some people kind of get into a bit of a state wondering if they've done it right. So I'm going to show you that today. Now, I know I've revisited this before and again and again and again, but I'm actually revisiting it again today just to make sure that everybody is happy and there is no room for any error. So a patch test, if you went to your beautician or if you went to the hairdresser, is the patch is where they place whatever they want to do the allergy test on you on top of the skin. But with our treatment, we want you to break the skin. Now, we don't want to break, want you to break the skin so deep that you end up drawing blood. All you're doing is just lifting the tiniest amount of skin with an orange stick. I'll demonstrate it to you now so that it's easy for you to visualize. So wherever you choose to do the patch test on, um, we usually recommend that you either do it uh, at the back of your earlobe. That's where most people do it or the inside of your wrist, or maybe on your thigh, or on your tummy. So whatever part of your body you've decided to do the patch test on needs to be cleansed in advance. So this is where this uh, cotton bud, which is uh, has got alcohol here in the center, this is what you clean the skin with. So on the top of this cotton bud, there's a blue line, and you break that, okay? And what that does is it releases the alcohol down into this part of the cotton bud. And this is the part that you use to cleanse the skin that you're going to use. So for demonstration purposes, I'm going to use the back of my hand today. Okay, so you break off the top uh, of the plastic here, pull out your cotton bud, which is now impregnated with alcohol, which is cleansing. And you cleanse the area that you're going to use the wipe. So once you've cleansed that area, you pull out your uh, orange wood stick and you break the skin. So you basically scrape it like this so that you break the skin. So you'll know that you've broken the skin when you see a, a tiny white area whereby you know that you've lifted some of the skin. Now, I don't want you to scrape it so hard that you're drawing blood. You're not meant to draw blood. So this is the area here now that we've broken the skin. So now back to your cotton bud. This is the part that you was used to cleanse the skin. So this is wet, but the other side is dry. And you open up your patch test envelope, pop in the dry section and put it on the scraped area. That's it. That's all you have to do. Some people like to put a plaster over it so that it's definitely kept in place. And we usually recommend that you leave that in place for an hour or so. 
um, if you're going to have a positive reaction, and in the 11 years that I'm doing this, I've only ever had one client to have a positive reaction. Um, what will happen is that you'll have redness, erythema, raised, blisters, welts, itchiness. That's a true, true reaction. And we can't go ahead if that is positive. In the 11 years I'm doing this, as I say, one person out of thousands has been positive. So it's very unlikely that you're going to have a reaction, but we have to do it and we have to make sure you do it for insurance purposes. If you haven't done a patch test, I'm not covered by insurance and either are you. So we have to insist that you've done your patch test and we have to insist that it's posted out to you. And if you're going to have a positive reaction, it usually shows up fairly smartly within four hours. So that's a positive reaction. Most people come into me and they say, oh, patch test, yeah, completely, yeah, I did the patch test, completely forgot about it, yeah, it was negative, clearly. Um, right, if you come to us and you book in separately, if you book in a consultation, all that happens at the consultation. So the consultation is done here, in clinic it's 45 to 50 minutes of your time it's ideal to explore if our technique um, of delivery is the uh, type of eyebrow that you want and we are the artists for you um, and you come and you ask loads of questions you bring in as many questions as you want you bring in photographs of the look that you're trying to achieve and you explore if we are the person for you and the patch test is done as part of the consultation so at consultation time, you don't have to worry about bringing in consent forms because it's supplied here at consultation time. And you don't have to worry about sending um, us your postal address because the uh, patch test is done here at the consultation and that's done here in clinic. Right. I hope that helps. 